Welcome to Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's, the investigative journalism program, or IJP, where I ask the question, Whatever Happened to the Pizza at McDonald's? Brought to you by Grandy's Homestyle Cooking. I'm your host, Brian Thompson. Last week, I ordered an ancient artifact from McDonald's history, a tabletop display advertising pizza, pasta, and baked chicken. Clearly, the revelation that McDonald's served pasta and chicken at the same time it served pizza requires further investigation. But when the artifact arrived at my Hollywood Hills estate, it was bent to fit into my mailbox, despite the fact that the envelope was clearly labeled, Do Not Bend. Some might say this is partially my fault, as I own a purposefully small mailbox. This is to ensure no one can attempt to poison me by hiding a deadly chemical substance inside a regulation-sized pizza box and slipping it into my mail. Though I would be suspicious of such a delivery, I am afraid the temptation to open the pizza box would be too great. But I know it is only my boundless humility that would have me entertain the notion of taking the blame. The real culprit is my postal carrier, who is clearly either illiterate or simply rude. Either way, I paused my investigation into McDonald's pasta and chicken to call the Postal Regulatory Commission's Office of Public Affairs and lodge a complaint about my bent artifact. However, this call proved quite fateful indeed, as the representative with whom I spoke told me of a McDonald's museum in Downey, California. As this museum is located only a short distance from my estate, and it would surely make some mention of McDonald's pizza, if not also McDonald's pasta and chicken, I made a visit myself. The McDonald's at 10207 Lakewood Boulevard in Downey, California, touts itself as the oldest surviving McDonald's in the world. The original McDonald's was driven out of business by the villainous Ray Kroc, as depicted in the award-losing film The Founder by Multiplicity's Michael Keaton. But the Downey McDonald's has been in continuous service since 1953. Its sign still bears McDonald's original single arch, and rather than having a luxurious and slightly sticky interior dining room like a modern McDonald's, this location is primarily a walk-up stand. All of this would be intriguing enough to warrant a visit, but the object of my desire was an outbuilding on the Downey McDonald's campus, which serves as a museum dedicated to the history of the company. However, upon arrival, I was metaphorically slapped in the face by the literal reality that this museum is a museum only in the same way that Call the Conqueror is technically a fantasy film. In other words, it is fine, but it is no willow. And though this museum, which is really more of a hallway on the way to the restroom, features displays devoted to Ray Kroc's famous milkshake machine and to the terrifying moon-headed former mascot Mac Tonight, it does not mention McDonald's pasta, chicken, or, indeed, pizza. To get to the bottom of this mystery, I endeavored to question the staff. To put them at ease, I posed as a McDonald's customer, though I was not hungry in the least, after consuming my customary road snack of a bag of pizza-flavored combos. But I stepped to the vintage stand and ordered anyway. In a stroke of genius, I decided not to order a number one, as this might tip off the employees that I was not an actual customer and was just ordering the first thing I saw on the menu. Hello. May I have a number two with a Dr. Pepper, please? Of course. And there, you buy that combo of your regular? A uh, regular. Uh, can you tell me if there's a museum curator on staff or on hand that I could I'm speak not, to? Uh, no, there's actually not. Oh, okay. I didn't see anything in the museum about McDonald's pizza. Do you know if there are any exhibits planned about McDonald's serving no, I don't pizza? Think so. Do you remember when McDonald's served pizza? Not really. Oh, it was in the late 80s and the early yeah. 90s. The only person you have is a supervisor, sure. Oh, okay. Do you think they would have any information about uh, McDonald's no, pizza? Have... Sure. Hello, hi. Question? Yes, my name is Brian Thompson. I'm a journalist. I'm investigating McDonald's pizza, and I noticed in the museum there are no exhibits about McDonald's pizza. Do you know why that might be? It's not pizza. It's piazza. What's that? Piazza. Piazza? Yeah, that's our owner name. It's not pizza. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm investigating when McDonald's used to serve pizza. But you're saying the owner of this McDonald's is a man whose name sounds like pizza? Okay, okay. I don't... Uh, okay, let's jump on side. Okay. So as not to impede the short line of drifters waiting to order, the manager and I retired to a secluded area near the dumpsters. So what's your kitchen? 
In the late 80s and the early 90s, McDonald's but, used to serve pizza. Do you remember this? Uh, here, I don't know. I, I wasn't here at that time or here. I see. Yeah, but maybe some restaurants, they do serve like maybe small pizza, I think, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. was just wondering why there's no mention of that in the museum or if there were, if you were planning on starting an exhibit about McDonald's pizza in the future. Do you have any idea? No, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me if anybody from McDonald's corporate has said you can't have an exhibit about McDonald's pizza? Nobody. If you would like to move to a more soundproof location, we can do that. No. No. But I don't know about it. Yeah. It's up to our owner to display whatever he, he has. And, and his name is Mr. Piazza. Mr. Pizza? Piazza. Piazza. Okay. Yeah, Piazza, not pizza. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's our owner. I'll, I'll try contacting him. Yeah. But thank you so much for your candor. Yeah. I must admit, it is quite suspicious that the owner of the world's oldest McDonald's happens to have a name that sounds so much like pizza. This will require further investigation. And I assure you, I will also get to the bottom of McDonald's flirtation with pasta and chicken. Once again, to be continued. Today's episode of Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's is brought to you by Grandy's. Several listeners have contacted me to say that they had never heard of Grandy's before they sponsored this program. They visited their local Grandy's location and were delighted by the homestyle cooking on offer. One listener wrote, quote, The chicken fried steak was quite delicious, very tender, and pleasing to the eye. Unquote. If you visit a Grandy's, take a photo of your meal and post it on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag I went to Grandy's and this is what I ordered. Be sure to tag this program at at Pizza at McD's. Grandies, let us know you have been there and also that you have ordered a meal. Thank you for listening to Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's, a proud part of the Pizza at McDonald's network. Do you know what happened to Pizza at McDonald's? Do you remember it? Please send all correspondence to pizza at McDonald's at gmail.com. Visit our attractive website at www.pizzaatmcdonalds.com. There you may sign up for our electronic mail newsletter. You will also find links to our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages, as well to our Teespring store, where you may purchase quality Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's merchandise. To provide financial support, visit patreon.com slash pizza at McD's, or to make a one-time donation, use our PayPal email address, pizza at McDonald's, at gmail.com. I'm Brian Thompson.